Hello friends and everyone, welcome back to Netcode Hub Channel. I'm Frederick and I'm happy to have you here. In this video, we are going to talk about how to implement localization in Blazor application. When we talk about localization, what actually is it? Localization in Blazor refers to the process of adapting your application to support multiple cultures and languages. It involves rendering content that is specific to the user's local, such as translating text and formatting date and numbers according to the cultural norms. So it's, uh, simply it's about translating or integrating multiple languages in your application. And in Blazor, it is possible by the help of this localization. So in this video, we are going to have a look on how to do that. This is what we're going to do. We're going to have a drop down menu that the user can select to choose a language from. Then as soon as the language is being chosen, it just notifies the app and it renders it and it sets that language as a current culture. Very simple one and that's all that we are going to do in this video. Alright, before we dive right into this, make sure you have subscribed to this channel and also click on the notification bell to receive updates as soon as I upload new video. You can like this video as well. So let's get a project created. Click on create new project. Now this, we can use it in all models, uh, Blazor, WebAssembly, um, Server, and also the, the new .NET 8. That's what we're going to use. You can also use it. Let's use Blazor Web App. And now with this, I'm going to give it a name. So let's see. From this, we go in for Blazor, uh, maybe Web App. Now I'm going to say this is demo. Blazor localization so I'll click on and now we choose um, render mode at server and click on create to get this project created so while this project um, is being created the first thing that we're going to do here is we need to create our resources, okay? So resources is, is like a translation scheme. So that is what you're going to translate from the languages that you want to app to support. So let's see. First of all, let's make sure we build this project to get it. <laughs> okay, so let's build it and see. If we have any issue, then we work on that. Else, we go in there and create our resource folder. So this uh, built as fully as you can see succeeded. And now if I click on output thing from this build session, we have to get it. Yes. So let's go to solution. We're going to create a folder in here and we're going to name this as resources. So this resources. And now with this resources, we in this component, we're going to create Let's say let's create one component or let's use the one that we have in here. We have from the pages. We have home page. Now this home page, we're going to turn this as registration. Registration page. Okay. So once you have this, you need to create an, a resource for this specific component. So this is what you're going to do. From this registration, I can just grab the name here. Go to the resources. Now I click on this resources. And I'm going to add new item. So when you add new item, check for resources or type in IUS resources. And uh, that's what we have. So passing the name. And now there's re registration. So this is the default one. We are not adding any language. So this is the default language. Okay, that's it. Fall on. It's not user. Uh, if the user has not selected any. Okay, this is the default one. So we choose this. Resources. Now we're going to add another one. Maybe we want to add maybe French. I think so. <laughs> yes. Because this is going to be English and you're going to have French. So let's have this French. Now even with this English, it's going to be maybe American. So you're going to have um, EN, US. You have EN, GB and etc. Okay. So now let's create one more. This French. So this English. Let's create one add a new item and the same resources by this time round this is going to be french 
So with the French, we're going to add dot fr for French. Then let's add, and maybe we can also add Spanish. We're going to have three languages <laughs> that's going to support. So add another one, new item. And now Spanish. It pays and dot es for Spanish. Then let's add it. So our system supports three languages, English, Spanish, and French. Now let's get going. So the, the default one, it has no language added. That's the default. So this is maybe let's have first name. And here you're going to say this first name. Okay. Here we're going to have surname. And maybe here you're going to have surname. So you can see we have the name, we have the value. And now here we have um, email address. Email address. Then maybe we have password. Password. And maybe we have confirm password or Okay, so we don't want to confirm password. Once I have password, let's have or let's go in for save. And that is save. Okay. So this is what we have. And maybe um, we want to integrate this in other components. So maybe we can just write something like um, this is weather forecast. Okay. So maybe we can display this in there other page so let's set this as let's say this is forecast forecast info and now here we can write this is weather forecast okay so maybe we can something like do this all right now let's save this one we go to the French and you can just grab the name, resources, the name is okay here. Yeah. You can just grab the surname, French. Let's see the next one. And now for first name in French. And our pronoun, you can have this. Yes. Uh, and maybe the next one, we can have surname. You know, this, this should match. So, um, registration. Okay, this is. Oh, this, yes, Spanish, right? And we are using the English, English here. It means we have to change this. Okay, so you let's save this. Now let's go back and let's change this to registration dot e. I'm going to clear this and I'm going to make this yes. So this is what we have. Okay. All right, now here, access modifier, you make sure it is set to public. Click on yes, and I'll save this. Okay, so here we have forecast info. Maybe we have um, surname in the French. We have first name, and now surname in French. We can have something um, like num. So well, let me just <laughs> grab it from here and uh, paste this one. So aside from that, we're going to have email address. Now let's make sure we don't make mistakes. So you want to copy this email address. We go to the front and I'll paste it here. Okay. Now email um, in French, we can have something like address. So let's see. 
yeah so this is what i'm gonna, I'm gonna do so i'm gonna have first name surname email and password okay so let me pause it and now i'm type all these and when i'm done i'll come back if you pause it and also adios yes i'm done are you also done so this is what i did uh, for the english you did it together from the french you we did part almost and i added i continued and now for spanish this is what i did my dear friend programmers from spain who can speak spanish <laughs> yes you see uh, i just copied this okay <laughs> i just copy so i copied and, and uh, i just pasted them okay <laughs> this is not coming from my head <laughs> i just copied okay so once you are done with this we can close all these let's close them so before you close make sure you save all these all right now we need to install a package that I created and that will help us achieve this. Okay, so let's go to dependencies, right click on menu, get packages. And in there, we're going to type in for net code. And now we're looking for net code have the packages, the localization, so this package. Um, so you see, this package is what we need, and um, we have to install this package. The version is 1.0.0. Not long ago, I made this. So we install this package. Okay, so now that this is done, that's what we can do. Maybe we have to build this project and see. Yeah, so it is acceded, as you can see from here. Now, let's add a service. The package that we installed, we have to um, register service for this package. Let's go to program.cs file. And in that, you're going to add builder.services.addNetCodeHub localization service. So, netcode app localization service maybe we can control period we this coming from netcode hub that packages that extension dot localization so we have to add a service okay now once you're done we go back to or we can close this and close the program because we are done now let's go to the the home page in here and you know we want to have a drop down menu on the top of the page so user can select from that drop down menu and the language that person is going to select is going to affect the whole page okay or the entire application so in here we can create or should we create or we should use <laughs> maybe let's create one component and maybe we can use this as language okay so this is a language component so within language components, maybe you can decide to use third-party library like Simfusion, uh, Madblazer, and etc. to have your drop-down. But in this, we're going to use a default that's a normal HTML select to actually handle this. Okay. So maybe we can have something small like span um, and all these stuffs. Okay. So maybe I'm not going to type this. Let me just grab them and paste them <laughs> because you are there already. So, you know, before we add, we have to make this page as an uh, interactive server for render mode. And aside from that, maybe we can inject a language service. Um, we can do that and let's put them in there. Or maybe we can add them here still. Or <laughs> we can put them here. So, for the import that razor, it's advisable to put in here so we can have a global access to this. Now, we're going to create this. But first of all, we can select maybe we have to create a constant here and in this let's have a class for this so we're going to add a new class and maybe i can just say this is language constant well depends on how you want <laughs> yours to be done so with this constant i'm going to have just one constant which is string 
and the name that I'm going to give this is um, default culture or default language okay and in here I'm going to give it the default one is en dash us okay if you want French you can search for that fl dash I think f for Fr French and um, yeah fr dash fr for <laughs> French and Spanish you have es okay let's maintain this en dash this is us so this is a default character that you want to use that's fine now let's go to app in here so in our code section we can just have we have the default value a default culture set already so maybe we can just have something like let me just grab this from here and that is a ui okay it's a very simple one you have a span tag on top and it tells you this language so maybe you can write choose language or change language anyone and here we have a method that is change so in case um, the person selects this one, we're going to have this void and we can have um, change. Now this change is coming in with change argument or change event acts and you can have of E. So that's going to be the value from this. Now you can see we, we are having um, US, we are having French and let's have another one. So if we were to get all this from the database, you have to loop through, get quite a service, loop through them and just set one and display. But since we are having it manually, then we have to um, define it ourselves. Okay. So maybe we can go beyond this. So Spanish is ES, 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 F R F R for French, ES, US for um, US English and now ENGB. Okay, you know what what we're going for <laughs> here in the United Kingdom. Okay, so let's say we have this. Um, we can specify our selected culture. And now, what is a selected culture? Let's first work on this event. So when this is clicked, it means you're going to select any of this. And let me just replace the values in here. Okay. So we can just create um, a property here and this is going to be string selected culture is equal to you can have this language constant dot we have default culture okay and now we are checking if this is not equal to this the reason is we want to skip it let's say when you select us okay this one this one also going to pop up again so you're going to have en us ENU is going to have it um, appearing twice. So that's the reason why we are using it to skip it. But if you're calling from a service, then you don't need this. Because service, you can just fish it out, get the name, and now display, and I remove the order out. Very simple one. Okay, but for now, let's maintain this. Okay, now we can get a selected um, option here from this E option or the E that we have, E object that we have here. Okay. So here, yeah, what can we do? We can say selected. So selected card size equal to e dot value. Dot value, and here we need to convert to string. Okay. So when we have this, then we can call this language service, and this must be an awaits, and you say this language service which is coming from the service that we register from Netcode Hub package. Then in that we have change culture and our load culture. We have three method in now, change culture, load culture, and get current culture. Okay. So here we're going to change culture. That is if the user select this one, you're going to pass in the selected culture. Very simple one. You see? So that's what that we're doing. Okay. Now, when the page loads, we want to get the selected character. 
because this is going to use local storage so as soon as it stores in there we want to retrieve it and now anytime the person reloads the, the app or goes to another page you want to see the culture persist okay so the culture must be there and the language chosen must um, affect the entire application so in that then this drop down we want to get the current one and now set it as a selected option okay so in that let's have override when on after render so when this renders after rendering that is where we want to call this method so let's say this is get maybe culture will be okay get culture now since we need to define this let's have it implemented in here and it's going to be private async task we say get culture and now with this culture what are we doing you know the reason why this might be protected i believe you solved the issue isn't it now this thing is supposed to be on render on after render async and and a wait must be in here protected and i think it should be out now and this must be tax yes okay so this we have get culture and that's the same thing in here now within this what are we doing what what are we having this so async yes okay so in here let's have string culture this is a culture here so we want to have the value of this now we need to call a service so await language onto traloka <laughs> language service dot get current culture so this is going to give us the current culture of our system okay and and after getting this we can check if this culture that we are having here it is not equal to now then we want to set it as selected culture to the culture that we have gotten after that we can implement state has changed to render this up this is all that we need to do in here okay now once you're done here we go to the solution and um, we have to navigate to maybe layout main layout we want to use this here so maybe we can use language so let's use the component in here all right now are we done <laughs> yeah, almost let's go to the registration page components pages registration and in here we're going to clear all this first of all you know we have to make this page interactive server and we're going to create a nice form so in that we can div class you're going to have row and maybe we can have class and column maybe lg6 will be okay for this okay now within this we're going to build a nice form in here it's not going to be edit form just a normal form so let's have our code section and um we can we can have string first name okay we can have string name I like to make this null I don't get all these <laughs> green lines because I hate them okay then what again we have string password we have string email address okay so your first name surname email address i think that is what we did for this 
we need to check this email address password and then we have save and surname okay surname email that's fine so we have same in here so what you should do here is design a simple form to handle this okay and in here within this i'm going to have maybe a label or etc so something like div class and i'm going to say maybe mb3 okay so and let's have this an input and now the type type is going to be test and maybe add bind I'm going to have it bound to this is first name so this is first name okay and now on top of this I'm going to have label okay so with this label that is where the magic comes in so instead of typing in first name we rather want to use the app the resource a file that we created so as soon as we change the language it gets the app notified and we can also switch or we can just switch to that language selected okay so in order to do this we have to inject i string localizer and now this package is coming from microsoft.extension.localization so we have to use this and let's say this localizer and now once we have this we need to specify the resource file in here and the resource file is what registration do you remember this is our resource file so when you pick this localizer we come to the label in here and i say localizer and now in that we're going to specify this is first name i'm going to pause this video i'm going to continue the rest for the sake of our time and i'll get back to you when i'm done with you do yours and now let's see who finishes all right are you done <laughs> okay so yeah that's what we have now we have first name surname email address password and then we have what save so these are the um the labels that we need and now we're getting it from the localizer from the resource file that we created and now we have in this okay now the the package that we installed from netcodehub.localization it has an event that we need to subscribe and this has to get the whole app notified as soon as the user changes um maybe a language okay so in that from here we need to um, do that so down here we're going to have override and when the page initializes maybe we want to say this language service that we created dot notify then here we're going to add status change to this okay then we add this and this must be protected i don't know the reason why my id is not giving me that so protected and the right since it is not an asynchronous it has to be with void okay now we have to copy same and as soon as we subscribe to an event it tells you that we have to unsubscribe when the page is disposing and in that we have to implement i disposable to handle that so down here we say this is public void dispose and when the page is dying out we want to unsubscribe we want to retract okay so we have this done beautifully all right and also when this page rendered we want to check the language okay so in order to do that we also need to um, use on an on after render async <laughs> yes so you need to use this and this is going to be used on any page that you want to apply localization okay so all these three guys here 
you have to repeat them on any page so you can subscribe you get change and you have to you can get a current um cards are used okay now within this tool i'm going to clear this off and i'm going to say await local do we have language service dot and now within this we're going to find load counter and now we need to find in the language constant dot default so we specify the default one in case it could not um have any um language or culture stored in local storage then it's going to switch back to the default one and i'll use it it's very simple so you're giving it an option okay and this must be an async and you know as soon as you have async it must be task and we have it okay so we're going to are we done <laughs> yes almost okay you are almost done now what we need to do here is let's go to the weather forecast we want to also check if our setting is going to affect other page so i don't waste time i'll just have to grab everything from here we go back to the weather forecast and this here is a weather component not the weather forecast and down here i can paste this here that's all that you want to do and you know since we have this initialize and dispose implement must step in i disposable and also we need this guy let's grab this to the weather forecast and on top here we can paste this this coming from microsoft thoughts extension the localization we include that all right now this this is what we want to replace this so maybe we can say that we can just go to the resource and now from this forecast info let's replace it with this so i'm going to say localize localizer specify this and paste in your name that's fine let's build this and see build solution succeeded now we're going to run this and check it out so yeah i think uh, do you have anything left to do <laughs> yes let's check it out okay in case you have an issue we just work on it that's right so our app is ready as you can see from here it's just a simple form that we can fill in our first name our surname an email address and a password and i click on the save button and now we are registered yes but of in case a french person a person who speaks french wants to access this app the person cannot understand cannot read english then you can click on change language so you can just click on here and i'll change language for now we have three languages um supported the first one we have english we have french we have spanish let's choose french and see so you choose french and i can see we have all of these change to french you see that now if i want to choose under one two um, spanish and i get a change to spanish yes yeah, so these three <laughs> countries they can have access to the application now what it does is as soon as you choose this check the inspect element you go to uh, application check the locust and you can see we have language here as spanish if i delete this that reset see what happened as soon as you click on delete it changes to the default one and that is the english um that we stated okay now you can just go in there again and now we can just choose you can see you choose um french you can choose spanish and now in here let's say i have this if i refresh this what happened still there do it again still there choose to french refresh this refresh it go to counter go back home it's still there so it persists now so check here from the weather forecast you can see now we have it in french let's choose the spanish and see so as soon as i click on spanish you can see it changes to spanish to english and now there you go all right so that is the way to integrate this localization that's not actually the whole way just one of the ways you know there are a couple of ways that you can integrate it but there's one i hope you guys will love it yes yeah, so thank you so much for watching this video and i'm going to catch you up in the next one so then take care